Hello. Uh, I've got no idea what day it is. Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, third of September. I don't know, something like that. So update. Well, first off, uh, it's 19 degrees. Doesn't feel like it, but it is. Um, I'm in my shorts. Uh, what are you doing? It's quarter twelve. Um, I'm off this week. I'm back to work next week. I don't really want to be, but uh, you know, I'll do with some pennies after being off for well, the whole of August and then the first week of uh, September. So I better show a bit of winning. I've got two weeks lined up. Working for a friend, so that's what should be all right. We'll find out if we're still friends after two weeks. <laughs> so anyway, that's another story for another day. At the moment, update. Uh, we made a note of interest. See, up, up there, we made a note of interest. No. Scottish, Scotland house market and um, purchase is different to what we have down here in, in England. It's uh, <clears throat> it's better, but um, God, it's busy in there today. It is better than the uh, English system because it's impossible to get gazumped. <coughs> but what it does mean is when you put an offer in you are committed you can't pull out for any reason you are that's a legally binding it's just, that's like exchanging you know whereas we sort of exchange on the day in it and then we sort of hope nothing goes wrong they don't they don't, they don't have any of that so uh, we are uh, we, you know we can't we can't commit to that quite yet because we haven't sold the house. So, state agent came round um, and they valued the house at a price that, well, I mean he was, that, he was absolutely right with what the house is valued at. We, we've got, you know, we, we cannot argue with that. We're just a little disappointed. Um, we're 20 grand down on uh, what we needed it to be really. So, we're 20 grand down. Doesn't help that the house, there's a house across the road, which is, a free, ours is a free bed. There's a house across the road that's also a free bed. And they've just reduced theirs down. And it's been on the market for well over a year and it hasn't moved. Now we thought it might have been because it's, uh, you know, it's not quite as nice as ours. Without sounding snobby. Um, we think ours is slightly better. Well, it is better. And uh, they've just reduced theirs down to the price that uh, 335. So we've had to go in with the same price. We're going in with the same price. We might even have to drop it another five grand just to get under it. In which case, the, the estate agent reckons it will go. So, um, so prices have dropped. Prices have dropped. You know, the, 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 the housing market is, is totally inflated. And it's quite, it's not, I wouldn't say it's stagnant, but it's not, um, it's not quite as buoyant as we would have liked it to have been. You know? And uh, the reason for that is the house pricing is, um, oh, I could have gone. House prices are um, inflated. But he said, bring the price down, and there it'll go. Because there's people looking for houses, but they're not willing to pay the money that's being asked for the houses, which is proven with the house our neighbour's house that was up for 350, didn't do nothing. Now it's down at 335. By the way, I'm bloody starving. I'm gonna have to stop and get some wheat. I haven't had nothing yet. So uh, yeah. So that's the state of play at the moment, so everything's on hold. I'm having to do some decorating. Um, 
he was happy with the house, but there was a couple of little bits which I knew about it. It's not like I didn't know. <clears throat> and it's, it's nothing much. It's nothing much. So I can get that done well relatively quickly. Um, we just got to get all the kids to get. I've got to put some. Um, I've got to re-silicon the uh, shower. It's starting to lift a little bit. Uh, it's not causing any problems, um, but it's just starting to, you know, freshen it up and it'll look spot on. So um, I've got to go and do that. I've got to do that. Um, but in these 24 hours, with no one having a shower, doesn't it, you know? And try telling two, a 22 year old and a 20 year old what time you can have a shower is like anybody, you know, it's just like it's, it's hard work. So we've got to get all everyone, oh, what's going on down here? We've got to get everyone on board. <laughs> make sure no one just bundles them bundles their way in just to uh, go for a shower when the when it hasn't gone off yet I've got to do a little bit of grouting where it, it, it's a funny bit of wool um, all these sunflowers well they're all going to waste this year they've grown them again they didn't do nothing with them last year just rotted into the ground uh, So I've got to do a bit of grouting around one of the tiles where it's just for some bizarre reason fallen out. Um, it's not even an area that gets wet um, or hit or knocked or used or pressed or for some reason the grouting is decided to fall out around one particular tile. So a bit of a bizarre one but I'm going to get a little bit of grout and um, work it in. Yeah. And I've got, we had a, we had a, um, the water tank, the upstairs, we've got a water tank, plastic water tank upstairs, and it failed. Um, it split, well, it cracked around a fixing. And uh, it started a leak, and it, um, there's a little bit of staining where it did leak on the um, upstairs landing ceiling. And uh, I'm going to repaint that. I'm hoping to get away with it by just putting a dab over it, and because um, it's quite, it's not, it's not there's no direct light gets to it on the landing um, so it's uh, unless you look for it it's difficult to spot anyway so I'm hoping to get away with just dabbing it dabbing it dabbing the splodges right where the water staining came through and um, getting away with it I don't really want to paint the whole landing ceiling so we'll uh, we'll have a look at that as well and that was it the other other than that he said the house was in tip top condition which I was slightly surprised about I, there was more than I thought we might need to do but he was he was happy with the rest of it and uh, <clears throat> we just got to wait until we've got one other little thing going on which will be tomorrow and from there uh, we could go for it so we've got to decide and it's like a game of it's like a game of poker and stress all roll, uh, stre poker and, and chess all rolled into one. You don't want to show your hand, and you don't want to give your best move yet. But you also you want to win the game, don't you? So, and that's what it's like with um, Scotland and offers over. Because we're now twenty grand down. We can still do it, just, but it might be that we, um, might be that we don't go for the other 16 acres, who knows, depends what we're, uh, depends how landlords, I don't know, but, so it's all, all over the place really, and you know, at the end of the day we might lose the property anyway, because we're just not in a position to do anything at the moment, so, yeah, all up in the air, Nothing's really changed. Well, it has. We've stepped forward a bit. Um, we started. I bit up the unit yesterday. Did our first auction last night. Put a load of stuff into the auction. Um, didn't really make any money. It was a good evening out, um, but we didn't really make any money. Um, but it did clear out half a van full of shite, which I've no longer got to worry about. <coughs> And I'd rather it go for a little few pennies rather than just having to scrap it out. So at least it's being repurposed and uh, somebody else is going to have a, have a go with it. All the rubbish. 
So anyway, that's about the state of play at the moment. I'm going to stay in this left-hand lane because I, I need to get some oil. Some of the week. What time did I say it was? Oh yeah, lunchtime. Here we can go. So anyway, um, trying to think. Well, B and Q is it's the next one down, isn't it? But I am going in a direction where I can get some of the week. So that's about it, really. Other than that, I've got nothing else to uh, report. This is Christchurch. Well, um, part of Christchurch. Summerford. Uh, yeah. So I'll speak to you all later on. Hello. Well, that was unsuccessful. B and Q, you robin bastards. I wanted some. Uh, I want a grape. I got about probably no more than four inches of grating to do. They want for, for a little, like, double the size of your largest tube of toothpaste, right? Well, about the size of a big, large tube of toothpaste. Guess how much? Which I wouldn't even use <coughs> a 20th of, or not even maybe a 50th of. One good squirt and it's done. 14 quid for a squirt of fucking grant. And it worked out, it's something like... It's all done in litres, and it worked out at £46 a litre for this, buying it that way. Or I could buy a big tub of it. You know, the thing is, you could buy <coughs> a massive tub of it, and it only works out at four quid a litre. Now, I know that, you know, the smaller quantities you buy, the more it is, but not that fucking much of a difference, surely. You robbing bastards. So, anyway, no signal in there. So I'm going home. Had enough. Now I'm going to have a look on Screw Fix and uh, see what I can find on there because at 14 quid, I can't find me. I can't find me silicon tool for. Um, I did buy some cheap and cheerful silicon. It's it's only just to make the pictures look better. So I don't care if it doesn't stay in more than two few months. Nice oh, traffic and the aircons. Not in here. So anyway, yeah. That didn't really go to plan. Oh you wanky, you could have could have signalled. You can't see what's going on here, but it ain't good. And now I can go and make this go. Truck boy gonna pull out? Yeah. over in the uh, right hand lane so I want to get past this lad but there's no one coming up so I can just blitz by him there that's it so I bought some silicon that was cheap enough and I bought a uh, like a a plastic sort of wedgie type thing. I'm going to have to go to the unit and I'll probably find me wedgie type thing when I get out there. Uh, and I haven't got a grant remover yet. I might have to use just my knives and that for that. So yeah, not a... Uh, not, not, oh yeah, no... no um, Silicon remover either. Bloody being cute, bloody useless. I don't know why I bother with being cute really. Even the bloke on the till, I was talking to the old boy in there, I said to him, I said, what's going on with these prices? I told him the did it and he, even he was like, well, you're not the first to say it. I said, I don't mind paying a little bit extra because it's a small quantity, you know? But when it's such a massive difference, 
same product is exactly the same product as the Unibond. Unibond um, grey. Yeah. So no, it ain't paying that. I'll probably get down here, I'll probably get the screw fix and it'll be a similar sort of price, so. We will find out. Need to go home, I need a wee. Traffic lights again, isn't it? Top of the hill. So many dickheads trying to overtake us. Baby Range Rover. <sighs> right. Sometimes it's the simplest jobs that you think, oh, that won't take long to do. No. They take bloody ages. Because you struggle to get what you need to find, or what, what you need. I don't know, I couldn't get over that price. I've been talking about it for weeks. God, I didn't have that much of a queue when I come down here. So next week I'll be in a Volvo, a Volvo Globe Trotter. I haven't seen one of their lot yet. They've only got uh, six trucks down here, and um, talking to a couple of mates, they said that said they'd look up together. So. Um, Find out. Been in there, the cat and fiddle. <coughs> it's um, it's been redone out recently. Uh, it's quite nice, but it's quite expensive. As in expensive, as in it's a difficult one, isn't it? What I don't mind paying expensive prices if the food is exceptional, you know. But I don't like paying for something that, yeah, it's nice, but I don't think it's worth the price that they're charging. It's, I mean, it's quick and convenient for us because it's five minutes from home. But that's about it. And they don't shut the kitchens at half past eight or anything ridiculous. I think the last last um, ordering time is something like half nine, ten o'clock. And a lot of places today, don't you? And it's like we went in there. We went in somewhere recently, and um, we got in there at like ten to eight or five to eight. No, we got in there at 8 o'clock. Oh, just after 8. I think just after 8. I think we got in there at just like 10 past 8. And I said, uh, just, you know, can I, um, where do I order food at? The bar? And they said, oh, sorry, but you're too late. I said, too late? I said, what, 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 what time did you stop serving? Oh, 8 o'clock. Stop, stop taking orders at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Fucking hell. Over in Holland, people don't go out until after that time, let alone all the food. 
mean, how can you close your kitchen at 8 o'clock at night? Astounding. Astou I was absolutely astounded. Yeah, figure that out. Figure it out, because I can't. Yeah, it makes no sense to me. There's a lot of things that don't make any sense to me. I, I, I hope I'm not alone in this. I'm, I'm bewildered by things that go on in my life most of the time. I'm, I'm in constant state of bewilderment. You know, things that make perfectly common, you know, that per make perfect common sense. And people are going, oh no, we can't do that. Yeah, but you can see how much common sense it is. How, right? yeah, oh yeah, I can see it, it makes sense. So why don't you do it then? Well, we haven't really thought about it all. Well, that's the way it is. It's like our supermarket, Tesco's. Here we go, Tesco's. Salted butter. There hadn't been any in for about two or three weeks. And each time we go in, and we say to the staff, I said, can you not, what, what, oh, I don't know. Well, how many times have you been asked this today? Oh, quite a few times. Well, have you not, uh, not thought of asking someone to find out why? Oh, well, no, not really. Oh, it's not my job. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if enough people ask about it, surely somebody somewhere should be going, yeah, we haven't got any salted butter, have we? Oh, well, it should be, it should be automatic, let alone people having to ask for it. Is it out the back? Have you not just not got any? Is there a problem with it? Let us know. Talk to us, will you? Instead of the, I don't know, it's not my problem because I don't fucking like that. Mm. Do more editing. Oh, is that a problem nationally? There's a problem with salted butter? How can you have a fucking problem with salted butter? Just butter with salt in it. Right. So that's another 15 minutes of me moaning. But I think I've got every right. If I can't moan to you lot, who else can I moan to? Gorgeous Kira, she just laughs at me. Which I suspect you lot are as well. But, uh... Anyway. No red lights. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. Hello. Well. Just got home. I wouldn't say just got home, I got home after my bit of a waste of journey into Christchurch to B&Q and um, I thought I'd, let's try screw fix all together a whole load cheaper they wanted 14 quid for the first tube of grating which was about well, it was just like a big, big tube of toothpaste, I suppose. They wanted 14 quid for that. I could buy one and a half kilos of it, of drought, for eight quid, which is what I did. I only need to do about six inches, so it's total overkill, but then I do a smaller size and it's eight quid as opposed to 14. So, uh, that's what I had to do. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. So we're going to get it. What else did I buy? Um, oh yeah, and in b and they, they had no um, silicon remover. Uh, it's, a, it's a small pot and um, effectively you, you pop with a little brush in it and you take the, take the lid off and the brush is attached, you take it out, smonge it all over the uh, silicon and it's, um, it's like a paint remover I suppose, best way of describing it, but it's a silicon remover. You leave it on for half an hour and it um, makes the silicon easier to come off, de-sticks it. So I bought a tub of that for, oh, I can't remember what it was, but it was cheap. 4 99 or something ridiculous. So I bought that, 
And because I don't know where my um, tiling, tile remover, the you know, like the, the bladey type things, is, um, I bought another one of those for four quid. And so I expect if I went up the unit, I'd find it straight away. But well, no, I probably wouldn't find it straight away. Traffic here. Right. Come on in, my son. Where are you going? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right, let's go in. I've got a click and collect, so it all should be waiting for me. Speak to you all in a bit. Hello. Well, that took all of 60 seconds. Straight in. Did a click and collect. Picked it up. Job done. I'm going to go left down here now. Because I'm not going to get out to the right. Come on, come on, come on. Up to the line, my friend, up to the line. Oh. people everywhere. Come on then. Mm. I think I'm gonna be a bit um is gonna let him out yeah. which means oh, I can go straight down here. So I don't reckon I'll be as lucky. They've been looking, you could have gone then, go on then. Oh, talk about being asleep. So anyway, I've got me grant, fucking great tab of it, but for eight quid. This is New Milton, by the way. Delightful New Milton. Anyway, I'm about to run out of battery. So, um, I don't know, I'll go until it stops. If it suddenly stops, you know why run out of battery. I think it's about to die any second. So I'll probably end up talking to myself in a minute. So I might have noticed. I can't plug it in because the cable won't reach. So that was my drama llama for the day. Grout. Not gout, grout. I've got a mate who's got gout. There we go. Aren't oh, I kind? Put that on camera, me being kind as well. Well, not being kind to you though. You're dilly dallying. I'll be kind to you though, come on my son. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, 
Hold on. There's a bowls club here. You know, and there's a what are you doing? And um, there's a load of kids in the park the other day, they were hurling bottles and shit at them. <laughs> at the people playing bowls. It's just it's just what is going on in the world where people think that's acceptable. Kids think that's acceptable. You know, full cans and bottles being hurled into the onto the onto the green. If I had it one of them oldies in the air, they'd have killed them. Well they'd give them a headache. Oh, you can't see what's going on there. No idea. 